G'day guys, I'm Average Dom Slim. I'm a runner and I strength train. In fact, I've been going to the gym since before I ran regularly, but becoming a runner has changed how I go to the gym. I've slowly adapted my strength training regime to supplement my running. Now, I'm not a coach, I'm not a personal trainer. In fact, I'm not an expert of any kind. Actually, that's not true. I'm really good at countries <laughs> and the capitals. And I'm pretty damn good at flags. Lambador, too easy. Now this vid has been requested a lot, which is great. I'm really happy that runners want to learn more about strength training. So I'm going to show you what I do in the gym and how and why and when. And who? Why do you keep interrupting? <laughs> it's my routine that helps me stay strong and be a stronger runner. And how I make it a fun and seamless part of my larger fitness and running regime. So I really hope you get something from this fit. And if you do, even if it's just learning that the capital of Burundi is Gatega, then consider subscribing. Because we have fun here, don't we? Don't we? So here's the why. In brief, here are my top four reasons to strength train as a runner. Build leg strength for endurance. Build strength and impact resistance for injury prevention. Increase power and speed in your running. Build your upper body strength for improved form. Now I'll go into more detail as I show you my regime. Here's the when. Here is how I split my week. I run six times a week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday, Sunday. Always in the morning, if I can get out of bed. Hard sessions are Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday-ish. Now I gym twice a week. One is upper body with plyometrics and the other is lower body with core. Always in the evenings, I make sure I don't do legs the night before a hard run session. So Monday nights and Wednesday nights and Friday nights, they're out. So leg sessions are usually Tuesday. Yes, the same day as a hard session in the morning. Upper body is usually Monday or Wednesday nights and I try to swim on Thursdays. But today, we're just focused on these two, the strength sessions. So we're gonna start with day one, Monday, upper body and plyometrics. So I start with a warm up. Sometimes I run to the gym to get the blood a flowing and the heart a pumping. It's only a kilometer. But I also warm up my muscles. For example, with push-ups. Then there's absolutely no mucking around and I'm straight into incline dumbbell bench press for the boob muscles. When your body fatigues, your form slumps and you become less energy efficient. So to help combat this, a strong upper body and strong core are vital. Now pull-ups are one of my favorite upper body exercises that works the wings, shoulders and arms. I pair these two together because I feel they help activate one another. It's like Batman and Superman, even though that was a really bad movie. Now onto some heavier back stuff, bent over dumbbell rows. I like to emphasize building back muscles because it goes directly to good running form, keeping you upright and strong. Now here's my sister and strength advisor G, proving she's as strong as I am. I pair this with some plyometrics, power step ups. Doing plyometrics is complementary because it fires up your nervous system for lifting weights. Plyometrics also increases bone density and increases power. Next up, some dumbbell shoulder press. But as you can see, I have truly terrible shoulder mobility. This is something I need to work on. It's best to pair shoulders with some twerking as it activates the spine. I'm just kidding, I pair it with tricep pull downs. Some more ply thrown in. Here we have lateral skips and we're doing this in sync because it'll look really cool. Oh, I just almost broke her ankle. Plyometrics also improve balance when you do it right, and therefore running form, as well as speed and agility. On popular demand, here's some more shoulder press from new angles, and a quick dance break. Some barbell bicep curls to round off a great upper body strength session, and a compulsory camera flex. Now, that's just an example of what I do, but I vary my regime often. I try new exercises and see what sticks. But I just make sure that I cover chest, back, shoulders, biceps, triceps, and plyometrics. And there are a couple of other plyometric exercises that I love to do, box jumps and jump squats. Back to it. Now day two, we have legs and core. Right, we're warming up the legs, particularly the hammies and the hips. 
Now it's really important to wear different basketball jerseys on your different gym days just to keep people guessing as to where your loyalties really lie. Building strength in your leg muscles, quads and calves especially, allows you to run for longer. As you build your aerobic capacity, your engine, and you increase your time on legs, you also need to be building muscles in your legs to defer fatigue. All right, we're into the good stuff, and I start with my favorite, deadies. Full body exercise, but of course, a big leg component. Then I'm onto some squats. I usually do barbell squats, but I pushed it on the deadies today, so now I feel like doing goblet squats, which is a funny name and makes me feel like a little gremlin. So that's what I do. Paired with some calf raises. Admittedly, these look unremarkable from any angle. I tried lots, but they do start to burn after a little while. I try to get 20 reps per set. Now this is my sister teasing my skinny chicken legs. Stronger and more conditioned leg muscles also protects you from injury. The butt muscles, the baby cows, the hammies, and the different quad muscles all fit into your knees, hips, and ankles, the spots where most running injuries occur. And those plyometric exercises, they strengthen the small impact muscles used for running. Next up is Romanian deadlifts, capital is Bucharest, and I love these. I don't usually do too heavy, keeping the deadlifts as my heavier hamstring exercise, but this is an amazing stretch and a great balancing exercise. Here's one I've recently introduced because I've been told that I need to work on glute strength, particularly to protect my knees. So I'm popping some aggressive looking hip thrusts, and there's really no polite way to do this one, so I do apologize. Now to finish with some core work. Across the group, this is a good demo of the different ab exercises I do. But today, we've all chosen just one, and I'm on high, low planks. We put on Moby's flower. Because the song repeats the words up and down like four million times. So on the ups, I go up, and on the downs, I go down. And after a four minute track, that's enough core for one day. In fact, that's enough gym. So both of my strength sessions are usually around 50 minutes. And just like the upper body session with the legs, I try new activities all the time and see what sticks. Sometimes I try new leg exercises and it makes my leg very, very sore for a number of days. And that's called average doms slim. Or average doms doms. I don't know which one's a better joke. Neither is funny. <laughs> we'll put them both in. Now really, I hope you're sold on how strength training can help you become a better runner. Please let me know if you have any questions about my strength training in the comments below and I am happy to answer. And whether you're in Kinshasa or Kuala Lumpur or Kabul, I hope you'll consider subscribing and joining this running fan. I'm Average Dom Slim and I'll leave you in the most appropriate way possible for this video, with the making of a protein shake. See you next week. That's, that's my line. Oh, kind of spoiled it now. See you next week, I guess.